Now then, picture the scene. You're on holiday, Skegness, Mablethorpe, Sutton-on-Sea, Cleethorpes. You've had plenty of popcorn, plenty of chips, plenty of fish and chips, plenty of sun and sand, and you want a day out. Well, I'm going to take you somewhere for a day out that you can do, apart from the petrol cost, for free. Don't let anyone ever tell you Lincolnshire is just flat. As you saw, pretty hilly here in the Wolds. Um, I'm taking the back route into this Shakespearean place. It's a castle. Um, there is an easier way in, and I'll show you that on the way out, but I just thought it'd be a bit fun to take the slightly more challenging route into what remains of a castle linked to Shakespeare. So what you can see over there is Bolingbroke Castle, or what remains of it, the birthplace of Henry IV. It has to be said, probably not the best idea to walk through all this long grass and nettles in shorts. I hope you're enjoying this look around Bolingbroke Castle. While we continue, I'd really appreciate your support by subscribing to the channel and hitting a like. where we've arrived is the village of Old Bolingbroke and this is Bolingbroke Castle. So work on the present structure started in 1220. Ran off the Earl of Chester, came here after the Fifth Crusade and commissioned the work on what is now Bolingbroke Castle. In 1361, John of Gaunt and Blanche of Lancaster took ownership of this castle. Six years later, they had a son. He became Henry IV, King of England, and well known by many of you for the plays written by William Shakespeare. So it won't have escaped to your notice that there's plenty of damage around here and there's not a huge amount in parts left of the castle. The reason for this is the English Civil War, which in 1643 saw the Battle of Winsby. The Royalists used this as a stronghold. The Parliamentarians, though, took it. Then the Royalists retook it. And then with subsequent battles elsewhere, the Royalists relinquished control 
and then in 1652 a lot of the castle was pulled down to make sure that this couldn't be used as a stronghold by royalists. Now the final part of destruction, if you like, came on the year of Waterloo, 1815. Parts of the castle fell down and we're now pretty much in the state that you see it today. In addition to walking through the top of the castle, the great thing is you can come down below the walls and there's a very pretty walk around it, both for nature and to have a look at some of the stones as well. So the one other thing I should say, that if you come during holiday time, Easter, summertime, there's a good chance if you plan it and you have a look online, you might also come across a mock medieval tournament. I'm here on a Monday and the tents you can see, they were set for a tournament for people to come to over the weekend just gone. You may recall when we arrived here at Old Bolingbrook, we came through pretty undulating terrain with high grass. And I did say there are easier ways to get in, to have a look round free at the castle. I'm gonna take you out that way through the village and prove to you that this is really accessible and a great cheap day out. So as you see, Bolingbroke Castle is really accessible, it's free, and it's a great place to come if you're out on the Lakeshire coast for a couple of weeks. I'll catch you soon.